Okay, the second skill we'll look at, the first one is, is squatting. And when, and when you look at these things, the first thing you want to teach is sagittal plane, like if you put a plane of glass uh, in their front half. In the front, the next one is frontal plane, like there's a pane of glass coming right through me. And so kids, you'll, you'll you look at it for stick handling. They'll start, when you ask them to go farther, they'll start to reach. And now they don't have any power because their chest is over, their chest is too far out in front of them. And so when they, problems that'll happen when they get older is they'll reach and now they have no power to go after a player versus being here and hip translating and reaching. And so when we go back and forth with a puck, we'll start to have the kids go to one end and lean into their butt. And then all the way over to lean into this butt when we're stick counting with the puck. And teaching this is the second important movement pattern for kids in their development um, in hockey. And you can see this will go from stick handling to passing to teaching kids how to lock their hip and their shoulder into place to shoot through the butt and the hip. Uh, so this will be the next one. And again, there's drills and progression patterns and regression patterns. For example, with one of my kids who, who does this, he couldn't figure it out. And so again, reach back with your butt, touch the boards behind you because that will give you a target to think about. And again, reach back with your butt, get off the boards, reach back, touch it with your butt, and it starts to give them a target so they're forced to learn it without thinking about it or without having a coach go, bend your butt, bend your butt, which they, they would do that if they understood it. So you give them an external target where they don't have to think about it. They'll, they'll just know how to do it. So, 